I have a dog licking my toes right now as we're filming. Right? Am I allowed to cuss? I don't have to. I don't know. Out, right? We're gonna have to bleep stuff out. Not your mom's podcast. <laughs> what the fuck are we even doing? Here? I don't. Welcome to Propaganda with your host, Bunny. That's me. What's up, guys? Welcome to our new show, Propaganda, where we talk about all things poppy. Pop culture. And we got Manager Mimi behind me on the mic who's gonna be drilling me with questions, seeing how much I know about what's going on in the fucking fucked up world. So first off, let's, I know this is gonna come off sad at first, but uh, did you hear that John Witherspoon died? Dude, that is so fucked up. Pops, man. Dude, like, pops. I think what's cool is that there's like a total outpouring for him on the internet. Like he really touched that many people's lives. Dude, so it's like, yes. I what mean, was your favorite he, movie? Friday, of yeah. course. That's, those are the only ones that I know of him in. I know he's a huge actor, but those are, I think, my generation. That's how we learned Friday. who he was. Yeah. You know, he was sitting on the toilet spraying <laughs> deodorant. Oh, Lord, Stanley! Ooh. 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 Little Nicky, he did a good part in Little Nicky, too. I remember did he? That movie. Do you remember oh. that movie? Mm -mm. Little Nicky, really? No. He goes to hell? Like, remember, he's, he's like, oh my gosh, we're gonna have to watch that. Watch oh my god. <laughs> I'll show you some crazy eyes. Look at it. Come on, let's get busy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then going on to movies, The Joker. Dude, I haven't got to see it yet. Jay mm -hmm. won't uh, go see it with me because he said that there was like a whole bunch of speculation that it kind of mirrors a shooter, like an active shooter. Yeah, so they're wanting to pull it out of theaters because they feel like it's going to create mass shooters. So and what have, like, creates a mass shooters is our world being such <laughs> fucking <push. laughs> Like, <laughs> it's crazy. Like, I don't understand. They feel like the world just can't handle things. So it's like we're babying the world. And that's going to make people even more pissed. <laughs> Because one, they're not going to become desensitized to it. You yes. know what I'm saying? Who does that um, that comedian stand up where he says like getting rid of bullying is going to get rid of successful people? Because like seriously, like were you bullied when you were younger? I was, dude. I first I got bullied and then I became the bully. Exactly, but it you know give me <laughs> that backbone. I 100% believe that because in business, they're all fair and love and war. To be a business person, you have to be and you know cutthroat when you get bullied it gives you tougher skin yeah you can like actually work through rejection you can work through being fired or something yeah, like that instead yeah of, instead of <laughs> being fired and going and shooting up the office exactly. <laughs> you know it's, it's it makes you more resilient i yeah. think is what the word absolutely yeah so joker uh they're wanting to pull it out but as of right now it's the um highest grossing r-rated film to go Ever? deadpool yep in oh, history i love deadpool all right right Reynolds. He came on there and was like, oh, you took my spot. Ah, oh, he's so cool. I <laughs> he love how he, him and his wife, they're amazing. Blake Lively. Yeah. Uh, her. Still with celebrities, Kanye dropped his Christian record. Listen, I, I think he is so smart that he's a genius. And to be genius, you have to be mad. Now, I love that he found Jesus. He probably needed Jesus, yeah. you know? So I think what him and Kim have built and what they're doing together is amazing. But I don't understand why everybody's coming against him because he dropped a Christian record. Right? Is he cussing in the record at all? I don't know. We should listen to it. I know. I haven't listened to it at all. I'm yeah. so bad. But I think they're I think they're amazing. They're a <laughs> power couple. They're just building up their empire, man. People have talked so much shit about Kim Kardashian. They're like, what do the Kardashians really do? They do the contour that everybody wears. They've done that. The and cute hairstyles, dresses, skims, makeup. They've done everything, dude. Mm -hmm. Like, those girls are... Kris Jenner, of course, is a matriarch. But, you know, those girls are all businesswomen. And so what? If I could start my career off of a sex tape, I would. I actually just might. In jelly. Get this I all started. It's giving me an idea right now. I, did you see the light bulb go off above my head? I was like, what the? That's what I'm missing. And working sex towards. Tape and my YouTube will finally blow up. <laughs> Jesus. So, kind of rolling into this like weird and sick people, haunted house in Tennessee. Is this the one that will give you 20 grand if you. Yes, go but through? you have to sign a waiver saying that you might die. Okay, first of all, every time I go in a haunted house, my butt or my boobs get touched. That's why I don't go in them. Like, yes. it's sexual harassment and abuse every time I go in a haunted house. It's like, this is supposed to be a fetish thing. 
Are they gonna let people hurt people? Oh yeah, this guy like they have um if you have you watched any of the videos yet? No. So like this guy like had like lo what looked like cigarette burns like all up his thigh like they get you, they like drill you find out your worst fears and make them like they'll waterboard you the what water waterboard you and then they also put like scuba tank helmets on you and fill them up with water. Yeah, you have to like get a doctor's note saying that you won't have like a heart attack and die during it. First of all, why? That Secondly, anxiety. <laughs> Who <laughs> wants to do that? No. I don't even, I'm having surgery next week and I'm <laughs> scared to death. I yeah. can't imagine signing a waiver to a bunch of <laughs> weirdos in a haunted house that, like what if somebody actually croaks in there? That's that, insane. Yeah, that's why they've got the waiver. That yeah. it's a possibility Cover somewhere. Their <laughs> that's fucking sick. Yeah, they like have it. a petition started to actually shut it down. <sighs> shut it down. Yeah. <laughs> No, I think it's kind of crazy. He was an old filmmaker out of California, moved to Tennessee and brought that here. Yeah, he's an old weirdo. That's what's going on. And he's living out <laughs> a fantasy. It's, that's some <laughs> song. If you watch it, then, oh like that God. type of thing. <laughs> Your face right now. Why? People are just like, why does everybody got to outdo the next person? Like, what Absolutely. happened to just throwing a sheet over you and <laughs> scaring kids in the neighborhood? Now you want to <laughs> kill people in a haunted house? Yeah. I'm good. I'm scared of hell. I don't <laughs> Dying on it out, so I'm good. So we're having a huge wildfire that's gonna probably take out California if they don't get control of it. It's five percent contained, and PG&E has been shutting off millions of people's actual power just randomly. So if the gust of wind starts headed your way, your power's getting cut. First of all, it's like the Book of Revelations, the apocalypse yeah, in California yeah. for the past two years, three yeah. years. Yes, um, we first they had the fires in Malibu, and then before that they had some fires. So right now, now, this is going on. We've got another Northern California fire and a Southern California fire that's in the heart of LA. Then we also have one in Northern California that's taking out the Bay Area. So E40 just dropped a picture of it burning, and it actually looks apocalyptic because the flames are coming out over the Bay Bridge. Oh my God! Yeah. Um, Why don't they keep? The it moist. They should have like a dude that flies around in a helicopter just dropping water all yeah. the time to avoid this. This I is actually because like... of PG&E. What is that? The electric company out there. They started the fire? Yeah. That's so the last one that started last time in California. See, the yeah. government is so fucked up. <laughs> Listen, everybody, it is no sh They probably won't even air this YouTube video if I start talking about conspiracy theories. But listen, the government no. is not our friend. So we've got the whole Bay Area and then Southern California we have Healdsburg, Santa Rosa, Windsor, all of that. And as of right now, we have almost 1 million people without power. That's insane. Nobody can wash their buttholes. No, we're all needy. We got some wipes. <laughs> that sucks. I mean, yeah, you know, sending much crazy. love and light. We, we're joking about it, but it's not a joking. No, thing. LeBron James just sent um, taco trucks for all the firefighters fighting oh, them. And so they're LeBron. out there, right? Oh my gosh. The fight this weekend, you said you were a big big fan i am i'm a huge fight fan my husband is a huge fight fan i was a fight fan before him and then we are fight fans together now okay so who are you rooting for diaz all the way dude He's, is your husband also absolutely we got to hang out with nate a few months ago whenever we were on tour and he's awesome dude he is the coolest cat and he is a real <laughs> gangster he just always keeps his calm until he gets in the ring and then he <laughs> and smashes dudes diaz is gonna win everybody knows that we are looking at like a huge list of people actually coming Oh, I'm sure. The Nate will literally win this fight and be like, yo, I'm never fighting again. And drop the mic and disappear. So that's why so many people are showing yeah. up because it's kind of, he's kind of iconic, you know? Yeah. Dwayne The Rock will be there. that there's a possibility that he'll let him hand out the belt. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Could you imagine being That'd handed be that? That'd be kind of dope, though, because, um, you know, like, world wrestling meets yes. UFC. Dana is a f***ing genius Absolutely. when it comes yeah. to any sort of marketing, you know, making money. He's not a dumb <laughs> The McGregor sure. boxing was... God. I like McGregor's wife. <laughs> I'm, I'm a D fan. I don't know if I'm a McGregor fan. And... He reminds me of, like, a pissed-off dachshund. <laughs> <laughs> long and mean you know <laughs> next ed sheeran was just named the richest celebrity in the uk under 30 years old he's a rich fire garage is he under 30 he's under 30 how dude. old is he i don't know we're gonna look this up right now God, he's old as sh I, he i thought he was old as shit. no That's i thought crazy. he was older no i yeah. thought he was for sure like at least 35 how is he singing about love and all those these songs that he's singing about and he's in a young buck he's 28 
Oh, uh, so he's got a little bit of life experience. Okay, I take it back, you little fire crotch. <laughs> yeah, of course he is. UK. He's like the Taylor Swift of dudes for the UK. I feel that. I just saw his music video with Justin Bieber for the first time. I have tuned out of Justin Bieber. He's gotten a little weird with age. I love his wife, though. I'm such a girl's girl. <laughs> Hayley Bieber, I think, is Dude. just Oh my god, beautiful. gorgeous. It's Miley Cyrus breakup. Miley is doing way too much. When she's in a relationship, she's normal, or just yeah. like quiet. She doesn't want to be in front of the lights, camera, action all the time. As soon as she gets single, man, this <laughs> is twerking on <laughs> telephone pole, doing drugs. She's doing too much. And she's getting to that age where you can't do that. You can't be acting like that after every breakup, dude. She's oh my gosh, she's 26. Oh, okay, well, I retract all that. Now it makes complete sense. Oh my God, yeah, she's 26. 20. That's insane. Celebs age in dog ah, years. It, I feel sorry for her. She just, she's like a lost little lamb. I, I thought they were cute together too. Oh, absolutely. How do you divorce Thor? What? <laughs> Did he get with that dude, Cody Simpson? Yeah. He looks like a chicken skewer, doesn't he? <laughs> Doesn't he? Oh. The only thing that's hot about him is when he opens his mouth and talks. He's the type of like you bend him over doggy style and put a pillow over his head and just make him talk to you. Right? I can't handle you. I swear. I'm I don't know. It. You're like, let me leave. <laughs> so at the end of every show, we're going to go over a very random fact. And I want to get your opinion on this. All right. Manager Mimi has spoken, guys. Do you know koalas have fingerprints? Aww. That Those like, little sweet baby. Koalas have fingerprints that can also be misconstrued as a human fingerprint. Weird. So could you imagine like a Doing murder a or something? and just cutting <laughs> a chihuahuas or what is it? A uh, koala? <laughs> I'm just putting them at the scene of the crime. Right. We're teaching a koala how to kill people. Have you ever oh seen a God. wet koala? A wet koala? Have you never seen one of those? No, have you ever seen a shaved bear? No. Oh my God. I've never seen a wet koala. Definitely have seen a shaved bear though. They don't even look the same. Really? It, look, it looks like a huge weird rat. Like it's crazy. That's disgusting. I know. So weird. Yes. Right? Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in to Papayanda. This is going to be our new weekly show that we're going to do every week. Talk about what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Hope you guys like it. Keep tuning in. If you guys like it, hit the comment and yeah. like section below. We'll see you guys next week. Subscribe and all that jazz.